Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Troy TXRC Productions here. ATX Drone Space and Drone and Multi-Rotor Tips, Tricks, Reviews, and Unboxings. Find us on Facebook. More importantly, find us on YouTube where you're watching this right now. So, today we got something that Surge from PyroFlipRC.com put up on Facebook a couple of days ago. It was a solution for a diversity setup for a ground station on a budget value, but with race band and with a digital readout that not only shows the signal strength for both antennas, but the channel as well as search features, and it actually stores all of the channels that you it finds and allows you to cycle through them to really find and dial in the best channel for your situation. It also brings diversity to the value side of being able to build a ground station without having to put hundreds of dollars in like a lot of the guys are doing. Now this isn't going to be a fix-all saying, oh, this is going to compete with the big boys. No. The penetrators, the clear views, these are high-end pieces of equipment that you can only get if you put a couple hundred dollars or more on. But a value diversity receiver is what we're going to look at. So I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Man, Serge over there is getting stuff out fast. He is putting, you know, things out as soon as you put in a shipping order it seems like within an hour or two it's shipping um, definitely within a day giving multi-rotor mania a run for their money and all the other guys out there um, big shout out to them atmospheric adventures has been coming through recently for me um, obviously everybody knows about ready-made rc and all the other guys but i'm just trying to get you some words out there for some people that are also want to come up making some really big names for themselves so Surge, thank you. So here we go. All right. Lumineer RX5 GDR. 5.8 AV diversity receiver. Oh, wow. I did. Surge, thanks, buddy. A pair of 5045, or I'm sorry, 4045 bullnose dolls. Appreciate it, man. Didn't order those, so that's a freebie. And on my invoice, which I paid for this, thank you for the awesome support, my friend, Serge. Man, you don't get that anywhere else. You're welcome, Serge. You make it easy, man. Get us the parts we need, good price, quick service. There you go. So, here we go. Open this bad boy up. Cool little box, first of all. Yeah, Lumineer. Luminaire 5X, there you go. Pull it out. Look at this form factor. It is a nice small form factor. Inside you'll find power cable, RCA plugs, two dipoles. Alright, what's up guys and gals? So check it out. You saw me cut away and the reason why was I had to do a couple things. I want to use these on my Fast Shark Dominators. So I have to use the cable that came with my Fat Sharks, which plugs into the side, into the input. And it has male component plugs. Well, the cable that comes with your Lumineer, and it's specific with the jack size. I have a couple of these, and I have some female ones, and they wouldn't work because the jack size was wrong. So, mail to mail won't work. So, luckily enough, Runcam, and I got a lot of Runcam products, provides you with a lot of these with a lot of their products. So, I took two of them that were already basically cable separated. I just cut the cables down, I spliced them together, wrapped them, and now I have a female to male converter for both of them. Bam! So, the other thing. The Lumineer Diversity Receiver comes with a JST plug attached to its power plug cable. So I had to change that out for an XT60 because I use XT60 in all my packs and that's how I plan on powering this. Now, this thing can power from anywhere from 7 to 24 volts. So you can use LiPos on this safely. So, plug it in. Comes up. You can't really tell in my in my monitor, but those antenna bars are actually not all the way connected because my quad is not actually plugged in yet. So we'll plug it in. 
and now the bars come up. It tells you what channel you're on. You're on channel R1 on antenna B is currently the one that's connected. 5658 is the channel on R1, which is race band one. So I'm gonna hold the search button and it's actually gonna go through and start counting channels that it can find. It's actually gonna count every channel that it can even slightly pick up. So once it does, it's gonna come back to the best, well, one of the channels that it likes. So I then have my cables plugged in. I can plug them into my monitor and my goggles. And I can now cycle by hitting the top button through all the best channels until I find the right one. And there you go. You can't really tell probably, but it's there. <laughs> Clear as heck too. So I'm actually going to be on, I'm on 5725A8 is the channel that this is picking up that quad the best. So the reason why I got this is because I want to be able to use different varieties of antennas, helicals. This is a massive one, nine turn or something, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten turn. I've got a five turn helical. I've got a three turn helical. I've got a patch, 14 dBi. Clovers, fours, threes. I got all kinds of antennas that with the dipoles and all of these, I can get into any environment really and I should be able to penetrate pretty much anything and get around everything and always have a good connection. So I'm going to do some tests with this. I'm going to go shoot some video flying around some different things, penetrating. I've already taken this thing with this and um, a dipole on it. And I went four apartments over and which basically, well, I'm sorry, three apartments over down the hall and around the corner. So it got through all of that. And these are some pretty thick commercial apartment walls. Um, and a couple of them were exterior walls, in fact. So this thing is really going to help me get some clear view going through everything. And I didn't mean to use that because clear view is top of the game. But get over to Surge Pyro Flip. Um, find them over at pyroflipRC.com. Pick you up one of these. I'm sure other people are, are putting them out too. I'm sure Get FPV has them because it's Lumineer, by the way. And I'm sure there'll be some other ones coming out. This is really a great alternative to some of the other receivers out there. I think it's great, nice and light. And you're going to hopefully see some cool things coming to kind of complement this. Till then, before I go, I'm going to show you how I'm going to quickly mount this thing to a tripod while we're doing it. I have a mini tripod. I have a Runcam 2 insert for the little slide case that is for a tripod mount. And I'm literally gonna hot glue it to the back side of this. And that's gonna allow me to mount this thing on a tripod real quick. So check it out guys. Fly safe, fly smart, fly fun.